Have you ever heard about sound before? When people talk about video games, they usually fixate on graphics and gameplay. This is what sells a game. You're never going to see a trailer emphasize the game's sound design. It's the underdog element, the one most often taken for granted. But without sound effects and music, video games would be incredibly lame. To help me illustrate what I'm talking about in this video, I had to bring in one of the all-time greatest masters of sound. Michael Winslow Noisy Bear in the house, y'all. What's up? Now back in arcade times, video games would only have six or seven sound effects. That's it, that is nothing. So you really had to make them count. Look at Pac-Man, now with Pac-Man. Michael, this, this is like the serious part, okay? Don't, don't come in yet. This is like, this, this, this isn't supposed to be the funny part yet. Okay, that's him powering down. Limitations, good. Early consoles like the NES only had five sound channels, right? And this is where the term mono sound originates. Mono being French for five. Charmander, everybody knows Charmander. Michael Winslow, can you hit me with a Charmander growl? Charmander! <laughs> Charmander! If Charmander was a real animal, it couldn't do its own voice better than Michael Winslow. But you know who sucks at doing Charmander? The original Game Boy. Now this console only had four sound channels, okay? Stereo sound. And this is why Charmander on the Game Boy sounds like this. That's it? <laughs> oh, wow. Your typical cartridge back then could only store around 400 kilobytes of data. Okay. And some games were much smaller, like Galaxian, which was only 10 kilobytes, so the developers had to be very strategic in choosing how much space do you dedicate to sound, and... Mm-hmm. And, uh, most of that space on any cartridge... Most of that data is just sounds like the ones Michael Winslow keeps making. Remember when they put out Titanfall 1, it was like 60 gigabytes, and then it turned out that was just 55 gigabytes of uncompressed audio files? In the modern age, sound is unbound by memory limits. As long as you only have two other games installed on your PS5, it's no longer a technical dance, but instead a question of how far will a developer go to make their game sound great. <laughs> Okay, now this is where I'm gonna need your help, Michael. Are you ready to make some sounds? As video games become more atmospheric, they've also become quieter, more nuanced, and more serene. Soundscapes have come a long way in the previous generation, but you probably wouldn't even notice until you look back in time. Bioshock. In its time, this was revered as one of the most immersive experiences in gaming. When you think Bioshock, you think desuetude, isolation, and then you play the game today. I do not remember Bioshock being this loud. Sound design gets rough when the audio turns into a chaotic battle of sounds yelling over each other. Ironically, it's often those slower, more quiet moments where the player is most focused on the sound design. Okay, he's back. Can you imagine playing Zelda without the iconic chest sound? Can you imagine playing Crash Bandicoot without the WOW! WOW! Half of the fun of video games are the little sounds you make when you do stuff. When you throw Cappy on someone's head and it goes, I love that. What if when you threw him it just said, we? It's funny. But but still, you know what I'm saying? Michael Winslow, what's your favorite console? GameCube. GameCube, okay. Think about Super Smash Bros. Melee. When you hit somebody with a bat in that game. <laughs> the person being hit by that sound effect is no longer in existence. But what if you hit him and it said, we? 
Sound has a distinct transportive ability. Sound can beam you into space. Sound can submerge you underwater. In modern gaming, the player encounters so many sounds at such a constant rate that you probably don't even process a fraction of it. The last video game I did was, it was like three, all together with the tracks and everything else, I could have been about 3,000, 69 and change numbers of tracks. 3,069 tracks. You know, it's not just people fighting, right? It's their feet. It's the onion. It's the boots. The web. It's the ground. The bullets. It's the dust. The goggles. It's the wind. Kangaroo. Don't forget the horses. Then you got. Then I got to do the horses' hoofs. I got the. I'm gonna put all that in there. Real quick, I'm gonna show Michael Winslow a clip from Donkey Kong Country, and then he is going to break down every layer of sound that is happening. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Music. Now I know you're gonna like this part, Michael. For the game, Knack. Hey, Knack is back, no, baby. No, my, no, no, Michael. This is a serious party. No, no, I, I got. No, I, no, 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 no. I got an idea. I got it. Knack. Don't do the Knack song. We discussed this. His name is Knack. No. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. So in the game, Nick. So in the game, Nick, you are like a, you are like a cluster of rocks, and you have to. <laughs> okay. Knack is back. That's right, baby. I got the whole soundtrack. Wow. 